I've got to say, Anish Giri, it feels like the chess gods are on his side today, uh, especially after winning that last game, that really surprising checkmate in the Rook End game that we saw. And uh, Levon Aronian just, um, it's been a difficult few days for him. And uh, especially with Black, it's not going to be easy. He probably needs to win not just this game, but most of his games tomorrow, um, if not all of them, uh, just to have a chance to qualify. The game has started. We're five moves into it. Are we seeing some great opening stuff from Anish? Uh, potentially. It's still early days. This is the branch of the Reti opening, uh, where White is happy to let the Black pawns in the center advance quite far. But uh, White will try to counterattack a bit later. This is similar to something we saw yesterday, or two days ago, sorry, in a game between Hans Niemann and Vincent Keimer. But uh, Giri's clearly done his homework. This is uh, a rare night jump, as far as I know. And uh, I guess the idea is to just clamp down on this square white knight. It's not actually that easy to get rid of. And uh, the trade of minor pieces, if it does happen, that tends to favour white. He's a bit cramped, he has a bit less space. And uh, now we see Levon Aronian's shoulder. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. I saw it. He loves his basketball jerseys. It was, uh, it's probably, it's probably one of the best dressed guys out there, like Lev, because he's got loads of cool shirts as well, isn't he? Charismatic style. Right? Definitely, definitely, yeah. So. It's very colourful. I wouldn't say yeah. in the best dress, like, as in, like, sharp. Not sharp, but, but fun. Fun, yeah. yeah. I, I, I like it. Definitely. Meanwhile, both Kings Castling. I'm slightly surprised by Anish Giri's opening choice. It feels like, again, the type of opening you choose when you want to win at all costs, or you have to win, but with this last pawn push, he's going to get a solid position. See a trade of pawns in the center of the board. White wouldn't have any more development problems. Um, it's all going to look pretty balanced, to be honest. But Mika Giri is just saying to Aronian, You need to beat me, so I'm going to uh, try and trade off a set of pawns, maybe trade off some pieces, and you are the one who has to take risks. What yeah. do you think about uh, this position for either side, Simon Yvanka? Yeah, I mean, well, I was just thinking the last time, well, I can remember when uh, Aronian has he never not qualified? I mean, every every one of these events I've commentated on, he seems to always qualify quite comfortably. So it's quite a big, quite a big turnaround that you know that he's struggling this time. I like White's position going back to the chest, just because the harmony of the pieces. All you have to do is look at pawns and pieces, and the pawn structure is fairly even. But the pieces, Black's got some pieces at home. He's got his knight blocking pieces in, and.
overloaded or you could trade a set of rooks and then this knight would have dropped off the board and the queen defending the rook. Black would emerge with an extra bishop so the knight retreated and uh, I guess he wants to just drop it back to the square because that's ideal defensively. It will shield the white king in a few ways. And how does Levon continue his initiative, the momentum? Yeah, if he can get the knight to that square, it seems like uh, Anish has, again, stabilised everything. That knight would be very, very nicely placed there. And uh, Black's bishop is, is not a good piece at the moment, so um, white could be taking the advantage again. So this is the moment where Levon, you've got to keep the pressure up or reroute that bishop, but reroute the bishop seems very dangerous at the moment. Um, so look for ways to create threats, going back to what you mentioned earlier. And there we go, moving the rook to create a threat trying to keep this mini initiative going uh, from the black side. And if white doesn't want to go a pawn down and lose this pawn, then he has to retreat his queen to this square. But suddenly at least there are some checks on the diagonal. So the rook takes knight nearly working, isn't it? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. uh, very... I think it does work, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think white just takes uh, knight. And suddenly a queen check, hitting the king, only one legal move, and checkmate. And has he allowed it? He's allowed it! Oh, wow, second blunder. Second tactic. Wow. Same tactic, the queen moved, rook takes knight. Look at it. If it's captured, this ends in checkmate. Check. And checkmate. That is incredible. He's blundered twice in this game, and he's twice within the space of four moves. Completely collapsed, right? I mean, he had a great position, pawn up, blundered a pawn, now he's blundered a piece. And uh, this is the luck that left these. Lev needed some, some boost like this to give him a chance to qualify. Chess gods are shining on Lev, as they often do. They shone on Anish in the last round with that checkmate, and now they shine on Aronian. Yeah. Wow, Brook takes knight. This is exactly what we talked about earlier, CCT. Checks, there aren't any checks. Captures, yes please. There's a knight on the edge of the board. And yeah, I missed this one, I've got to admit. I was looking at the other capture first, but why not capture a knight? And this king is open, too open. Would survive. I'm resigning such a game because you, you should never lose such a game and uh, you've got to mentally sort of prepare yourself to press that resign button, haven't you? Because, I mean, there's no way you can play this. The queen's ready to dive in. You know, black's actually attacking with the extra piece. Um, but so there's just, just nothing here at all that, that, can, that has any chance. I mean, black's threatening checkmate in two moves. The white queen can come in on the diagonal in front of that black rook. If you can imagine that, checking the king. Uh, so it's completely over now. Completely over. There we go. And he shakes his head and clicks that resign button. Wow. Some dramatic uh, endings for Anish Giri in the last few games. He uh, won in the previous round with uh, a checkmate in the last move. And uh, he loses this one after a blunder. Both players looking over this, obviously, Levon Aronian. He must be feeling very happy. He is now up to 